Questions and comments? The Honourable Member for Steenabulkley Valley. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. A couple of quick things. One of the things is it seems like he's challenging the Speaker's ruling. Because he said the government House Leader in his statement said the member didn't intend to mislead the House. Well, there are three criteria to be found in contempt of Parliament. One of them is that it must be established that the, the statement knew, the member knew at the time was incorrect and that the member intended to mislead the House. That's what the Speaker ruled on, that in fact he did intend to mislead the House. Why do we know this? Because he was arguing for this badly flawed election bill. So the government House Leader has a, a bit of a conundrum on his hands in this celebration of the honour and respect of the member from Mississauga Streetsville who got caught not telling the truth and then two weeks later had a moment of conviction, half apologized and came back to the House, should be celebrated according to Conservatives, wouldn't it be better if he just hadn't have misspoken the first time, if he hadn't misled the House the first time? And yes, in fact, he was found by the Speaker in a prima facie contempt of Parliament. One of the criteria is that the MP was trying to mislead the House. That is a fact. He just stated counter. He just said, I, you know what, I think I'm going to challenge the chair on this one. I think the Speaker's ruling is wrong. The member from Mississauga Streetsville didn't, in fact, intend to mislead this House and mislead Canadians about something so critical as our election laws and justifying why the Conservatives needed this massive overhaul that, oh, by coincidence and circumstance, benefits the Conservative Party of Canada, lo and behold, why the Conservative Party refuses to have public consultations why they refused to consult with the Chief Electoral Officer. So to his point about why we want to debate this and to the point about why he wants to shut this down, yes, the member did intend to mislead the House. Yes, he was aware of what he was doing at the time and he was doing it for the, the most cynical of reasons, to try to convince Canadians and MPs that their bill was required, that there was a problem that he had personally witnessed, a crime that he had witnessed when in fact it wasn't true and he knows it wasn't true and he knew it at the time. How can the government House Leader defend such reprehensible action? The Honourable Government House Leader.